Greetings and best wishes for a happy holiday season from all of us at 2K Sports as we get set for this NBA presentation. This is Kevin Harlan with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony giving us the rundown from the sideline courtside, David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Well, James Harden is both famous and infamous with his skill at getting to the foul line. Some don't like it, but Harden says, free throws are a part of basketball. Either you're going to foul me or I'm going to score. Putting the pressure on the defense like that is tough. But that's what makes a good player. Kevin, the lies told there. Well, no doubt, David, he is one of the best. Thank you. And uh, look now at a few years worth of data. Uh, some of the assist numbers under the microscope for Harden. The, the drop in his assists over the past few years have, have made him more of a one-dimensional player offensively. He needs to get that passing element back in his game, and, and that'll make life a lot more difficult for opposing defense. And the Houston Rockets starting five. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. E.J. Tucker is out there with Green, and it's Covington in at the three. And for Phoenix, Rubio and Booker. They're the backcourt. Shaq Diallo is out there with Bridges, and it's Aiton in at the center, filling out the middle. Now when it comes to load management strategy, Doris, should coaches do it along the way as opposed to waiting until the last, say, quarter or third of the season? Well, Kev, I think you can look to the San Antonio Spurs, who I think were the first to really look hard at what we would now describe as load management. And I think the one thing is you're trying to just make sure guys are prepared for the most important point of the season. You've got to win enough to get in the playoffs and be positioned well, but your guys have also have to be healthy at the end of the year. And that's a quick foul for him there. Looks like the refs are going to call this one pretty close. Here's Aiton. Bridges, no one around him. Off target with his three. And so Westbrook will bring it up for Houston. Here's Harden on the wing. And the jam by Harden. Let's remember, Westbrook is capable of triple doubles because of this kind of passing. My goodness, that's pretty. Hooker the pass to Diallo. Kicks it to Rubio. Suns moving the ball around. Aiton dishes to Rubio. The pass to Bridges. Now Aiton. Shot clock at six. Rubio with it. Westbrook picks him up. Let's it fly. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. Harden left side. Takes a three. Good on the three-point shot. Harden's got five. It, it doesn't matter how a defense plays him. Harden is going to make sure that the three-point shot is a primary weapon. Sun still looking like they're getting going here. It's a five-point game. They won their last game against the Rockets in Houston. Well, they, they coasted to the win in that one. Were dominant in the rebound department, and that was a huge factor. I think there was no question they brought a level of physicality along with a tremendous work ethic, and it was why they were successful. It's good. This guy, a relentless force on the glass. DeAndre Ayton going to work and getting the putback. And here's Westbrook. What a tremendous game he played against the Clippers. Harden kicks to Westbrook. Three-pointer. Phoenix grabs the miss. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. And defensively in that one, they needed to come up with big stops to quiet that crowd. And that's obviously easier said than done. I'll tell you this. It looked like they wanted to get out of town as quickly as possible. The problem is their defense went with them. Inside, outside, Harden will attack you from anywhere. Nice play. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. The Suns have gotten only one of six shots to drop for them to start this game. Westbrook against Rubio. Shot clock at five. Here's Aiton. Rebounded by Covington. Rockets leading by five. 
Tucker the pass to Harden. Now here's Green. And it's Green with the jam. And Green getting off the floor there for the dunk. Really like watching him sky up for those. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. Rubio against Westbrook. Rubio the pass to Diallo. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Booker, and that one's drained from the low block. Yeah, high volume scorer. Booker needs only to raise his percentages a bit to be considered elite in the NBA. Pass to Tucker. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And if there was ever a definition of a glue guy, Greg, it would be P.J. Tucker. He's so valuable to his team. You know, P.J. gives you production in every way, and his impact really goes beyond the stats. All the little things that coaches want their players to do, that's really the motto of Tucker's game. That free throw, no good. And the first task for Monty Williams is going to be retooling this offense. Plenty of offensive talent here. Team has underperformed on that end for years. And one of the things he wants to implement, Greg, Monty Williams wants to utilize more movement, right? He has mentioned a style similar to what they ran while he was with the Spurs organization. So don't expect to see any stagnant bodies on the offensive end this year. You know, make no mistake, guys, one of the more effective second-round picks we have in the NBA. Tucker provides a steady diet of production. Bridges for three. The shot comes out, and it's Houston the other way. They come into this having outplayed the Clippers last game. Yeah, it was all hands on deck. Helps to get points off the bench when you're on the road. One thing we know, Greg, great teams in the NBA get production off the bench, and that was critical that night. Now, here's Rubio. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Down low, here's Booker, and the shot goes in. Well, a guard has got to come with physical intensity on the interior, and Devin Booker does just that. Now, here's Westbrook, averaging 23 points a game and is one of the more consistent producers on any given night. Bridges for three. Rockets with the rebound. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. And Westbrook, here we go. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Kicks it out to Booker. Westbrook with the steal. He feeds it to Covington. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got his third assist on the night. Suns trail by eight. Pass to Booker. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Back to Aiton. And Aiton throws it down. Boy, that's the vision and ability to deliver precise passes. Rubio completely on point. Westbrook feeling it out a bit. Pass to Tucker. Now, here is Harden, defended by Booker. From deep three-point range, and Green is right there. Green's got his second basket of the game. They are just killing him on the interior. Westbrook against Rubio. Booker outside. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Rockets. They're leading by eight. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Here's Rubio. He's still scoreless so far in this one. 
The pass to Diallo. The feed now to Ayton. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Now we'll check across the NBA. The best shooters from the strike. James Harden, number one. And you simply got to avoid sending him to the line. Absolutely no one has better form from the strike than he does. Rockets leading by 10. Westbrook with it. Passes it to Tucker. Shoots. Good. The nice assist from Westbrook. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Now Rubio. Eight points his last outing. Over to the left wing. Booker outside. Six to shoot. It's in. That's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. All right, defensively now, you've got to find a way to slow this guy down because he's putting it to you. Houston's gone, just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Jeff Green on the wing. Harden outside for three. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got four rebounds now tonight. Booker in the corner. The three ball. Rebounded by Tucker. And you will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Ricky Rubio picks one up. Well, the relentless energy with which Russell Westbrook plays throws his body at the defense and picks up the foul. The Rockets shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. First one falls for him. Well, you look at the Suns going forward. They have got to believe a big part of the puzzle is DeAndre Ayton. This guy was the number one overall pick in last year's draft. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Tabo Safalosha has checked in for P.J. Tucker. Damari Carroll comes in for Robert Covington. And Eric Gordon subbed in for James Harden. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Doris Aiton, a terrific rebounder. He can score in the paint, and of course, he is still improving. Yeah, what you like about DeAndre Aiton, Kev, is he doesn't just rely on his God-given talent. This guy knows he needs to be more consistent with the jumper, improve his overall defensive awareness, but this guy is willing to put in the work to become a complete and great NBA player. No good from Booker. Rockets leading by nine. Here's Westbrook. The shot's good. Westbrook's got five. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Well, Phoenix shooting just 35% to start the game. Timeout, Phoenix timeout. calls timeout. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Here's Jerome. Pass to Baines. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. Houston in the lead. Outside Westbrook. Pass to Cephalosha. Green left side. He kicks it to Carroll. Just five on the clock. Here's Westbrook. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Booker left side. Good on the bucket. Ten points for him. 
Yeah, the thing about Booker, not necessarily the quickest twitch athlete. He uses that smooth handle to gain separation. Westbrook drives in. It's stolen by Sharks. And Phoenix pushing it up now. Here's Jerome. The offensive rebound. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Or sometimes what was once considered a negative becomes a positive. For example, tweeners are now looked at as very valuable assets and very versatile assets. Yeah, Kev, no doubt. Like, sure, think too. about how much the game has changed for players like Draymond Green, who was so integral to the success of the Golden State Warriors. Here was a young guy who was considered at one point coming out of college for the power forward and center spot, too small to play the position. But as the NBA has downsized, as it's gotten smaller and faster, Draymond Green can be as important as any other player on a roster. Austin Rivers, he's checked in for Russell Westbrook. And he sinks the second. Here's Rivers, taking a look at his stance. He's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Outside Gordon. Pocket six. Here's Rivers. That one a little long. Suns trail by six. Booker outside. Dishes at the Baines. Here's Jerome. Charge in the corner. Puts it up. Here's Baines. It's good. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Rivers surveying the D. On the wing, Gordon. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Now, when he came into the league, Eric Gordon was tagged as a shooter. Now he's been shooting more than ever. And Gordon, the last few seasons, has been shooting, how about this, over eight threes a game. His success rate with them has gone up and down over the years. But one thing is for sure, he always has the green light. Free throw good from Eric Gordon. Gordon hits both of them. Suns trail by six. Jerome passes to Sharich. Lays it up off the glass. Nice little run here to shrink that deficit. But can they get over the hump? Yeah, it feels like they've ramped up their intensity. They have forced good things to happen. Now they're back in it. Now here's Rivers. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Outside Green. Outside Gordon. This one for three. Rebound by the Suns. Baines has got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Oubre. And finished off by Oubre. Kelly Oubre Jr. puts it on the deck and leaves no doubt. 29 seconds left in the first. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Yeah, good job to take it right at the deep. For Houston, they have gone four of six so far from the line, missing a couple. Free throw drops for Rivers. Well, January 15th of 2015 provided a special moment in NBA history. 
Austin Rivers made his debut for the Clippers guys, who were coached, of course, by Doc Rivers. That was the first time in history a father coached his son in an NBA game. What a special, special time. About three seconds between shot and game clock. On the pass to Sharich. To the middle. Here's Jerome. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. And here's Rivers. Right side, Gordon. Fires from deep. Buries it from three-point range. Gordon's got five points so far. Well, the coaching staff loves seeing this kind of playmaking from Austin Rivers, the willingness to share the basketball. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Rockets lead by five. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. Rockets elevated by James Harden to one of the league's powerhouse franchises, and he talks about seizing the moment. This time isn't going to last long. You know, we have a window. It goes by extremely fast. I cherish these moments. You know, I embrace them. Mm -hmm. Never a guarantee that the window will remain open. And, and superstar players, let's face it, they're best remembered for their championships. It's all about the rings if you're James Harden. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And guys with the Rockets, what jumps out to you from a number standpoint? Well, they use the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. And we know this. Every team in the league now seems to be looking to play with pace. We've got Booker. Charge is out there with Frank Kaminsky. Then it's Aaron Baines, and it's Jerome in at the point. So that's the Suns' five as we get into the second quarter. Rockets leading by five. Now here's Rivers. Here's Carroll. Second shot opportunity. Rivers kicks to Carroll. Passes it to McLemore. Rivers in the corner. Just four to shoot. From six away. He can't get that one. And Phoenix will come the other way. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. McLemore with the ball. Charge is there. Hits the front of the rim and out. And here's Charge. He'll bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Booker dishes to Baines. Knocks it loose. And out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. And now a chance to take a look at some numbers for Oubre. And he's not been as efficient this month as he had been earlier. Take a look at his true shooting percentage and it'll show that he's gone a little bit frosty. Maybe tonight he can get that touch back. Now here's Rivers. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Suns. Still a ways to go between now and the three-point contest, but it's always fun to talk about it. Let's see who has the best shot to earn a spot in this year's event. And maybe this list changes between now and All-Star Weekend, but I don't think anybody would be disappointed if it stays exactly the same as it is right now. You take a look at Covington, and at number four on the list, he's almost certain to take part in the contest this year. He's going to be excited to let those long-range shots fly in All-Star Weekend. And the fans have been right to give him so much love. He's deadly from beyond, and he has to be in this contest this season. And as the votes keep pouring in, we'll keep you updated on any changes to that list. It looks like we're going to have quite a group. Man, you talk about the ultimate marksman's list here, Kevin. Maybe this will be the year somebody gets that perfect score. Suns trail by five. 
And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jeff Green. That's his first foul. Ricky Rubio checked in for the Suns. And a switch here also for Houston. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Jeff Green. And the Suns call time. A lot of switching on every possession in the NBA from a defensive standpoint. And you see the way Doris offenses are adjusting to that. Yeah, I think, number one, you have to attack the switch. That's first and foremost. And it's an interesting balance between attacking and being patient. Because the one thing you're ultimately seeking in every switch is a favorable matchup for yourself. That's where a critical thinking guard who knows where to find and put the ball is so critical to your success. Well, that's a good way to look at it. Andre Ayton's checked in for Phoenix. And a switch here also for Houston. Harden's checked in. Charge has the open look. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Charge has got his second bucket tonight. And buckets like that have been hard to come by. Not the most exciting game. Both sides look way off in terms of their shooting. Well, you have to appreciate the defensive battle for sure. Both squads struggling on the offensive end. We call this grit and grind. Pass to Jerome. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to be on James Harden. For Phoenix, they have gone one for two on the night so far from the line. First free throw is good. And it's tied up with that one. The Rockets have gone an abysmal 0 of 6 from the field since the second quarter began. Tucker the pass to McLemore. Carroll kicks to McLemore. Some solid defense from Sharich. Boy, that's too easy to miss, but somehow he finds a way to do it. Pass to Rubio. Back to Sharich. The pass to Kaminsky. Six on the shot clock. Rubio, the pass to Sharich. Another shot. And Aiton with the layup. Aiton's got the lead up to two now for the Suns. Well, the big man flashing his touch. DeAndre Aiton makes it look easy. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And, Greg, when you're discussing and comparing James Harden and what he's done these last few years, you have to do it on a very historic level. He's going to go down as one of the best to ever play the game. Uh, his production is incredible, and the skill level really is groundbreaking. He's easily the best off guard in the league. The Suns making a switch here. Bridges checks in, so he gets them both. Well, a lot of players can get hot, but nobody can match Harden when he gets locked in. The, the way he can create space and drill shots from deep, really impossible to guard. Now here's Shorich. Five points in the game. Bridges with it, and it's Harden picking him up. Bridges' shot. Good. And so it's Harden bringing it up for Houston. Trailing by two. And with Harden, he not only gets hot for a game, but stays hot, Greg, for longer periods of time. And you saw that last year with a streak of 30 and 40-point games. For weeks, he can dominate and, and really frustrate defenses. And there isn't anything you can do about it. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. Now here's McLemore, covered by Sharich. Jacks up a three, and it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got his seventh rebound here tonight. And just not able to find the target from three-point range here in the second quarter, although he did knock down one in the first. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, Kevin, last season the G League tested out an expansion of the clear path rule. And now that expansion is making its way to the NBA. It should discourage those intentional fouls that slow up teams on the fast break. Fans wanted it, and analysts clamored for it. And that will allow the amazing athletes in this league more opportunities to show what they can do on the fast break. You're right, David. A welcome change. Thank you. And I love seeing Harden get room to shoot from that mid-range position an effective score in that area the 
Suns trailing. Passes it to Aiton. Rebounded by Tucker. And the Rockets with possession here. They've held a 12-point lead early. Harden the pass to McLemore. Kicks to Carroll. Over Kaminsky. And the Rockets getting another bucket right there. That's their third straight make off an assist. So it's Phoenix now. They'll host the Denver Nuggets after this one. And that game is the second of two straight at home. Rubio against Rivers. Aiton inside. Here's Kaminsky. And he finishes nicely on the way. Kaminsky's got his first two points of the night. Well, DeAndre Ayton is a team first guy, and boy, does he set up the open man. And Houston calls their first time out of the game. And when you watch DeAndre Ayton, you really are just floored by how he moves. The amount of speed and agility he has for a player as solid as Ayton is doesn't come around very often. Some changes for Phoenix. Diallo, he's checked in for Kaminsky. And Oubre subbed in for Dario Saric. The Rockets also changing it up. Robert Covington's checked in for Damari Carroll. Cephalosha comes in for Ben McLemore. And it's Russell Westbrook in for Austin Rivers. Now, here's Rubio. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. They get it back. Tipped away. Stolen by Harden. Westbrook again to Bray. Loses his grip and misses the dunk. And those physical attributes of Aiton are so imposing. Greg, who does he remind you of? I mean, for current players, you see a bit of Embiid and how they both move so fluidly for seven-footers. From the past, I see a bit of David Robinson in his game. Here's Westbrook following the basket by DeAndre Aiton. And the turnover again by Houston. A moment to check out DeAndre Aiden here. This last month, he's been positively spectacular. Sixth in rebounding, and he's in the top ten in field goal percentage. Really able to power his way to the bucket and finish through contact. And he's a top ten rebounder this year for good reason. He's unbelievably driven, and he competes with you for the entire game. Now, here's Aiden. He had a 24-point outing in their last game against Oklahoma City. And he also controlled the backboard as well. I mean, he really did a terrific job. Shot clock at two. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Rubio. And this is what the schedule looks like coming up for Phoenix. On Monday, they'll be taking on Paul Millsap and the Denver Nuggets. Then on Friday, they'll be playing against Draymond Green and the Golden State Warriors. And looking at the schedule, it isn't ideal in terms of the upcoming games with the amount of quality teams they're going to be playing, but it's also a good chance for you to get some confidence and, and really see just how good you are. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Oubre outside. To the left wing. Bridges, dishes to Oubre. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. Bridges passes to Diallo. And no good. And his defense, so valuable. Not many can bother that shot at the rim. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. This guy is a pick-your-poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases with him. Rubio with it. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Pass to Diallo. Knocked loose. Bridges passes to Diallo. Harden against Bridges. Rubio. Offensive rebound. And Covington sends it back. Westbrook drives in. 
and he comes up with the deuce. Russell Westbrook is an elite talent. He knows how to make tough shots. Boy, when you look back on Russell Westbrook's career, the athleticism at the point guard position, borderline absurd. The power, the speed with which he moves on the floor, boy, you just don't see it that consistently. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. Aaron Baines comes in for Aiton, and it's Booker in for Mikael Bridges. A free throw drops for Russell Westbrook. And with Westbrook and his elite athleticism, Doris, it can be seen in his great statistics. Well, you don't average 30 points a game in the NBA unless you can absolutely blow past defenders like Russell Westbrook. Gosh, the strength in his legs allows him to fight for rebounds. He is so productive from the point guard position, it's extraordinary. Listen, you give a good shooter that kind of look, and it's going to go in. Throws it up high. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Out to the wing. Rubio with a wide-open look. Gets a very good look and converts. Now just a two-point Houston lead. Houston's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Outside Westbrook. Pass to Green. Back to Westbrook. Rubio with the rebound. So it's Rubio bringing it up for Phoenix. Here's Booker. Rebounded by Covington. Covington's got four rebounds in this game. In the corner, it's Gordon. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Gordon's got seven points in the game. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. 59 seconds left in the second quarter. Now Rubio. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10 and a half points a game. Oh, uh, here we go with Gordon. Nobody back. How about the instincts of Russell Westbrook on the defensive end? Gives his teammate an easy chance there. Suns trail by six. Rubio, the pass to Diawa. Sepalosha against Ubre. Booker outside. He's off on that one. Great D that time from Green. Great D that time from Ubre. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. Booker with no one around. And the Suns get it back. Riallo, no good. Three seconds left. And finished off by Westbrook. Well, Kev, how about the privilege of watching Russell Westbrook when this man is really cooking on the offensive end? I'll tell you a few things in the NBA I'd rather watch. And so it's Houston holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They've set the tone. They love their tempo. They're going to be very tough to stop. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Ricky. Bench has always been an issue here. When they produce like they did in the first half, how does that help you? It's amazing. That means, like, we, are, we have a deep bench and then a lot of work from the staff, from the from the everybody of the of the team like doing uh, extra work and winning games trying to change the culture around here thanks ricky back to you kevin thank you david and we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway the 2k sports halftime show Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Houston found themselves in a close game in the first. At the end of one, they were able to end up with a five-point lead. Taking a look at the Rockets, and Shaq, let's get your input on the Rockets. The speed they're playing with has been fantastic. They're pushing the ball in transition and catching the defense. 
That's snapping, Ernie. Anyway, a huge chunk of their offense has come on the break. They've got a nice lead, but they shouldn't slow anything down. I say keep doing what you do. Kenny, your take on Phoenix. Their inaccuracy from behind the arc was brutal. Shot selection, I didn't see any. The perimeter offense they're running, you could scrap that. They need to get back to the basics. Pound it inside, more pick and roll. Try to pick up some easy buckets in transition. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. Well, you look at Russell Westbrook in this game. He has been everywhere. What a menace he was on defense through the first two quarters. Just disrupting everything. Well, it was about effort and anticipation. Hard to get into an offensive rhythm when you know this guy is lurking. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. So on the floor for Houston. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. Green is out there with P.J. Tucker. And it's Covington in at the three spot. Five to shoot. Harden the pass to Green. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Green's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for the Rockets. Suns trail by ten. Booker outside. To the inside. Diallo. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Diallo's got his first bucket of the night. The Rockets shooting 47%, pretty solid. So here's Westbrook. He kicks it to Covington. Houston needs to get a shot off. And here's Harden for three. It doesn't go for him. Good D by Booker. Well, Phoenix shooting has been a little ragged, just 38% from the field. Bridges for three. Trains the three-pointer. Bridges has got his second bucket of the night. Well, he showed right there. This guy capable of making shots, especially if you leave him that wide open. There's the pass to Tucker. Back to Westbrook. Takes the three. Good for his sixth make in a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. Well, Russell Westbrook, he's not super efficient from three, but if you give one, he's going to give it right back. And here's Diallo. He's usually able to provide some lift to his team, averaging six points a game. Here's Ayton. That's another one for him, his fifth in just seven shots. Well, in the rebounding game, at least, it's been a strong physical performance for him. Now, here's Westbrook. He's got 16 inside. Here's Harden. Good. A nice assist from Westbrook. Westbrook's got his seventh assist in the game. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Now, here's Booker. He's got 12. Here's Hayton. That one is good again. He's six right from the floor with the basket. Oh, wow. Four or five to start the half coming out on fire. Westbrook with it. Averaging 23 points a game and is one of the more consistent producers on any given night. You know, sometimes it's about the tireless work ethic of Tucker because he's made himself into a solid shooter. And so here's Phoenix. The Rockets making the shot. Now Diallo. Pass to Aiton. From 10 feet out, there's Diallo. Green with the block, and he's able to get it back. Booker outside. Here's Bridges. Five points in the game. Tries to keep it alive. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. 
Let's get some information from the 2K leaderboard. In about the last 10 games in the NBA, during that span, these teams have the most second-chance points in the league. Fourth, the Suns. I mean, you love their aggressiveness, not settling for one shot offensively, but really running down those loose boards and, and converting for extra points. Here's Booker, and finally they hit one. Booker's got 14 points. Well, this guy is an explosive offensive talent. When Devin Booker's cooking, my goodness. And here's Westbrook. 16 points for him. On the wing, Green. Feeds it to Tucker. Oh, that's blocked. That's an encouraging sign for sure. Boy, when DeAndre Ayton is hustling and focused, he can send it back with the best of them. Now, here's Bridges. A nice shot by Booker. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. Green kicks to Westbrook. Covington trying to break free. Now, here's Bridges. And the rejection by Harden. Bridges against Harden. Bridges passes to Rubio. Here's Diallo. Pass to Bridges. On deep. It's rebounded by Houston. Westbrook's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Suns trail by three. Last season, the Suns made DeAndre Ayton the number one overall pick in the draft. They had no hesitation, Greg, in making that call. And when a player like Ayton, who was in the rookie of the year combo from the get-go, is available, you have to take him. Not only is the upside sky high for Ayton, but he was an impact player from day one for the Suns. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he can't find his rhythm, and you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. And it is easy to get spoiled watching Harden. He's had so many games like this in his career, but you still got to appreciate what he does. Phoenix Time calls timeout. timeout. Doris, you've accomplished so much in your award-winning career. What was your first experience in broadcasting? Kevin, my first experience was I left coaching and they put Providence College women's basketball on radio. That was the first ever game I got to call. It was so cool. Uh, tell me yours. What was the very first? Did you study this? How did you get into broadcasting? I did. Our high school at a radio station and the first basketball broadcast was underneath the bleachers looking through popcorn boxes and legs of the people uh, that were standing in the bleachers so that I could see the court from the baseline Amazing. because that's where the that's where the telephone cables were to plug in our equipment when wow. I was uh, 16 years old incredible remember very well incredible very well. <laughs> here's Aiton the Rockets making the shot to the right side out of bounds Houston takes possession yeah, let's check out some numbers here for James Harden. The last 10 games, he has been on a heck of a run. Fifth in scoring. Fifth for free throw shooting. And not many players convert opportunities inside as well as he. Top 15 in field goal percentage. And as you said, one of the NBA's most potent scorers. Always up to the challenge. His top five ranking has him right there with the elite. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Out to Sharich. Puts up a three. But they recover it. It'll go. The rocket lead is cut down to three on the bucket from Aiton. You simply must put a body on this guy. You know he's going to try to get to that glass. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move. And he's got a chance for one more at the line. That one on Aiton. Yeah, just constantly attacking the paint. Harden does not settle. This is his second trip to the free throw line gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season how about over 90 percent kelly Oubre has checked in for eight find the lane find the lane one shot
and really on top of all else Harden does for you at this end. He's a tremendous free throw shooter, around 85% for his career. Clutch. Now here's Booker. He's got 17. Good D by Harden. Now here's Carroll. Defense is right there. And I just love how aggressive Harden is inside. When he's deep like that, he is ready to finish with authority. Suns trail by eight. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Charge looking around. Pass to Jerome. Lock at six. To the paint. Kaminsky kicks to Uber. From deep three-point range, Jerome, no good. And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that deep. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. They're struggling to keep up. And we'll see if they can turn things around, Kevin, on this trip. They can't continue to come up empty. And there's the pass to Kaminsky. Here's Jerome. He's guarded by Rivers. Drops in the tray. Booker's got eight points in the quarter. That's his second make from distance this half after hitting none before that. Here's Rivers. And the shot goes down. And the Rockets lead by 10. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high-percentage looks from inside. The Sun shooting right around 42% from the field since the start of the second half. Phoenix calls timeout. And, and what a journey it's been for Austin Rivers since being drafted 10th overall back in 2012. Looked like he might not have what it takes to be an NBA player early, but... He persevered and is now an integral part of this group. Aaron Baines is checked in for Dario Sharch. And then for Houston, Tavo Cephalosha has checked in for Damari Carroll. And Gordon subbed in for Ben McLemore. Harden against Booker. Oubre outside. Passes to Kaminsky. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. But three... Jerome, good. Jerome's got eight points. And with Rivers, he's never given up on himself and continued to add to his game, even, Greg, as he's gone from team to team. You know, he's shown that he can function as either the point or off guard and still give great production from either spot. And as he grows older, you, you can see him being a top-level six-man for the rest of his career. Here is Harden. Devin Booker picking up that last basket. Outside Gordon. On the wing, Cephalosha. Gordon kicks to Rivers. Just five to shoot. Pass to Cephalosha. And another three for Houston. Boy, what a pretty pass from Austin Rivers. That is an improved aspect to his game. Suns trail by eight. Jerome passes to Kaminsky. Pass to Oubre. Booker outside. Phoenix needs to get off a shot. It's stolen by Green. From deep. Rivers can't get it to go. Really surprising to see the huge edge they have in rebounds, given what the scoreboard says. Now the pass to Baines. Kicks it to Kaminsky. The 11-footer, and the Suns tack on two more. Rockets leading by six. Rivers with it. Seven points in the game. Gordon deciding where to go with it. Harden inside the three-point line. That shot missing, so Phoenix will take it the other way. And here's Booker from the arc. Headshot off. And here's Cephalosha. He brings it up for Houston. 
after this one, they're off to Sacramento to take on the Kings. They're in the midst of a four-game road trip right now. That'll be game number three. Out of bounds, Phoenix will take possession. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. You look at Houston. The season well underway, and they've been solid in third right now. And, of course, Phoenix, six games out. And I think for the Rockets, they had a few critics coming into the season, and now I don't think they have any. This is a club ready to not only make a deep run, but possibly win it all. Well, this is their goal. There's no doubt about that. For what many expected of them so far, they have not disappointed. Houston leading by six. Inside, Gordon. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Fifty-eight seconds left to play here in the third. Here's Booker. Rebounded by Sofalosha. Houston's gotten the three-pointer to fall to the tune of 50% here in the third quarter. They've made three of six. Austin Rivers knows how to navigate through defenses, puts the ball on the deck, and gets to his spot. Here's Jerome. He's got eight. There's the dish to Booker. It's tipped and stolen by Gordon. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And now a 12-point Houston lead. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. The Sun shooting 39% from the floor. Not their best. Seven-second difference. Shot and game clock. Booker against Green. Booker looking around. Down to five on the shot clock. Baines inside, guarded by Green. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Here's Rivers. The 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Gordon for three from beyond the arc, and then some. Gordon's got seven points for the quarter. Uh, I'll tell you, it's one thing to do this at home, another to do it in a hostile environment. Boy, just sheer dominance. The ability to step into enemy territory and flat-out take over. This is impressive. And so it's the Houston Rockets riding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their transition game has been in full effect. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Let's hear what Mike D'Antoni was going over with his team moments ago. Come on now, this is the time you got to put down the gas, guys. Hey, they're on their heels. They're on their heels right now. Good stop and a score. That's an experienced coach talking right there, wanting to keep the pressure on. And you can ill afford to loosen up here. When the opponent is reeling is when you've got to put them out of their misery. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. We've got Aaron Baines. Ricky Rubio is out there with Bridges. Then there's Oubre, and it's Kaminsky in at the power forward position. That's who's out there for Phoenix. On the wing, Eric Gordon. He kicks it to Covington. Shoots over Oubre. Bridges with the board. Suns trail by 13. Baines finds Rubio. In the corner, it's Oubre. It's three-pointers off the mark. Houston's gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. 7 of 17. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And the first one drops. 
And the Suns making a change here. Diallo's checked in. Cephalosia hits both of them. Suns trail by 15. Rubio the pass to Ubre. And here's Diallo. Rubio outside. Back to Diallo. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. They get Russell Westbrook. First free throw is good. Andre Ayton's checked in for the Suns. And a switch here also for Houston. Carroll's checked in. Both good from the line that time. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Outside Westbrook. Passes it to Gordon. Back to Westbrook. Shot clock at six. Here's Carroll. Rebound by the Suns. Guys, there's still time for them to make a run. Can't have any wasted possessions down the stretch. It's stolen by Carroll. Gordon with it. Bridges covering the drive by Gordon. You can't let Gordon get cooking from the field. Once he hits a few, he is in the zone. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Rubio outside. Pass to Diallo. Here's Oubre. And the three off target. Terrific close out there to challenge the three. It may be the hardest thing to do in basketball. Close under control, and he's more than up to the task. Hits it from three-point range. And the Rockets lead by 18. You have to be prepared to catch and shoot in all circumstances if you're Robert Covington, and he was ready to rise backcourt and fire. Violation. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Sharch has checked in for Ubre. Here's Westbrook. Yo, watch Russ. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Pass to Carroll. There's the pass to Tucker. Five on the clock. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Good D by Rubio. And it's Rubio with the ball for Phoenix. It's an 18-point game. That one doesn't go. Good D by Westbrook. Houston's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Rubio against Covington. Here's Westbrook. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Well, you, you knew after the Paul George trade that the Thunder would look to sell on Westbrook as well. Just part of the rebuild at this point. His agent did well to get him to a team looking to compete. A great fit for a player in this stage of Russ's career. Shooting two. No good on that one. So Russell Westbrook, the man who only got a college scholarship because someone else didn't want it, 
comes into the NBA as simply an athletic combo guard, has turned himself into one of the NBA's best. What a story, Mr. Harlan. Now, here's Rubio. Got a piece of it. Covington with the steal. Gordon kicks to Covington. Bridges with the steal. Kicks it out to Rubio. Hey, yo, right here. Trying to get something going. The Rockets pull it in. Covington's got six rebounds now in the game. For three, Gordon. Charge grabs the board. Charge has got his sixth rebound on the night. Well, in the rebounding game, at least, it's been a strong physical performance for him. Rockets leading by 19 points. Outside Gordon. And it's Covington atop the key. Some solid defense from Ayton. Phoenix has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Diallo. That shot misses. The Rockets go the other way with it. To the inside, Tucker. And the layup is good. And the Rockets lead by 21. We know this about Robert Covington. He is a team man first and foremost. Pretty pass. They're getting beat up pretty badly out there. Yeah, I don't care what anybody says. You can't keep the status quo. If it ain't working, you got to make some changes. Now, here's Rubio. Replay is always a good topic to talk about. Any changes, Doris, you'd like to see in the system or in the process? Well, one of the beautiful things you have in the league is the opportunity in both summer league and then also in your uh, development league is the opportunity to put things in place. For instance, a coach's challenge has been experimented with at both of those different levels. And now the coach's challenge will be adopted and employed in the NBA. So I'm anxious to see how that plays out. Booker, he's checked in for the Suns. And the Rockets making a change here as well. Jeff Green is checked in for Damari Carroll. Hey, yo, right here. Up top, Covington, covered by Sharich. The Rockets with another miss. Suns trail by 21. Down low. And slam dunk by Sharich. Well, what I love is the aggressiveness of Dario Sharich, making sure he leaves no doubt. Now Westbrook. Outside Gordon. Green against Sharich. Six to shoot. Covington inside the line. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got his 16th rebound on the night. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Rubio looking around. Sharks, that's good. Love the assist. I mean, he knew exactly where that bounce pass had to be to create that opportunity. And here's Westbrook. And he gets the bucket. Westbrook's got 19 points. Westbrook can absorb contact, Kevin. He's got great focus and great finishing ability. Now, here's Rubio. Kicks it to Booker. Passes it to Ayton. Rebounded by Covington. Covington's got eight rebounds in this game. Outside Westbrook. Pass to Green. Back to Westbrook. Fires the three. Booker pulls it in. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. Trailing by 19. They get the rebound. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. You get a sense there of how challenging it is to guard DeAndre Ayton. Gets good position, makes the defense react.
And the first one at the line is good. I think what you like most about DeAndre Ayton is probably how efficient he is on the offensive end. Now, obviously, the next step, he's got to raise his game and defensive intensity on that end of the floor. And the Rockets making a change here. Harden's checked in. And so he hits both. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Rockets leading by 17. Outside Westbrook. Here's Tucker. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Phoenix has gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. And he makes that one. 24 points for Devin Booker. Now already you see it. Booker adding the strength to take the contact and win out. Westbrook with it. To the middle. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It goes on Devin Booker. He's off on the first. Doris, when you look at the success of international players, and the league has a litany of very good international players, Doncic being the latest success story, uh, is the perception changing about these kids when they come from overseas and play in the NBA? Well, one of the greatest, and to me, the greatest international player of all time, Dirk Nowitzki, a Hall of Fame player, probably changed the perception uh, to start with. Now, listen, over the years, Luka is going to have perhaps a Hall of Fame career if he stays healthy. The reality is this. The NBA is looking for the best players to man those 15 roster spots of the 30 NBA teams. It doesn't matter where you're from, what the color of your skin is. If you can play the game of basketball and play it at the highest level, the NBA wants you to be a part of their league. Now here's Booker, two on the clock. Boy, sloppy play, a supreme lack of focus. That's four turnovers for him now. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Tremendous job by Robert Covington to get the defense committed and draw the contact. Nice. And he can't get the first one. What a terrific story Robert Covington is. Gets undrafted out of college, goes to the G League and becomes an MVP, and now one of the very best defenders in the NBA. Truly an incredible journey. Suns trail by 17. Here's Ruby. Pass to Bridges. Looking for Ayton. He gets it in there. I'll tell you, when DeAndre Ayton is looking to score, he is a handful. Forces the defense into a compromising situation. The first one falls. Ayton hits them both. And just a better job of getting to the line here in the second half. Didn't get there once in the first. And Westbrook, here we go. Up top, Covington. He kicks to Harden. Back to Covington. Beyond the arc. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Diallo's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. And he knocks down the first one. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Here's Westbrook. He dishes it to Harden. The pass to Tucker. Tucker. 
Shot clock at five. Westbrook, and Westbrook throws it down hard. Boy, it will take more than that kind of defense to stop this guy. Russell Westbrook so fierce on the interior. And it's the Suns with the ball. 15-point game. Passes to Diallo. Here's Rubio, guarded by Green, out to the right wing. Here's Hayton. Tries again. And Covington sends it back. And that one's good, Hayton. Now Westbrook. There's 154 left in the fourth quarter. Harden against Booker. It's Harden with the drive. Goes back up. He gets that one. And that's 10 points for Jeff Green. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Now, here's Rubio. Doris, we know historically the Celtics, the only franchise to ever have a four-peat, four straight championships. Do you think at some point we're going to see another? I'm not sure there can be in today's NBA, Kevin, mm. and there are a number of different contributing factors. Number one, the salary cap implications uh, that, that happen. Number two, look at the Golden State Warriors, who were well-positioned for a three-peat. And yet, as you know, luck plays a small part in an NBA championship. Luck relative to injuries. You see Klay Thompson and Kevin Durant both get lost in the midst of an NBA Finals. True. This is a really, it's challenging enough to go back to back. Forget about four, Pete. He doesn't get the second one. Yeah, he cuts the deficit a little bit, but not as much as he could have. One miss can make a big difference. Westbrook with it. Now guarded by Aiton. Six on the shot clock. Covington passes to Green. Back to Covington. Let's the three fly. Good D by Rubio. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. And here's Westbrook. 32 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Kicks to Harden. And stolen by Eaton. Now here's Booker. Rubio outside. Back to Booker. Covington with the steal. And stolen by Booker. Got it. How about the ability to adjust and finish in different situations? Devin Booker elite as a scorer. So we see the Rockets taking the win here. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, G, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Hey, James, congrats on the win. Did it feel like the chemistry really got the ball going and got you into a rhythm? Yeah, uh, just, just stuck with it. You know, teammates kept encouraging me. I think he kept moving the ball and getting easy shots. Um, they did a great job of looking for me. You're an easy man to find with the beer, James. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.